I started um, in my 20s, sort of late for photography, photographing my neighborhood. In the early days, the, the, I was always knocking on the doors of publishers, uh, book publishers for educational purposes, because they're the ones that were buying your photos. And that was a hard road. I mean, you were dealing with racism a lot during that time. But there was money to be made, and I needed money. And that was my sole source of income. But then I realized that, you know, uh, you know, the color of your skin kept you out of the game a lot. For example, why can't I photograph uh, a yacht? You know, well, you never had a yacht. You've never been on the I mean, they give you all kinds of excuses why you can't take a certain assignment, you know. But I was very persistent. And I was good. So I was able to uh, crack some doors open. And people gave me a chance, and I didn't mess up, see? And, and that kept the clients going. I mean, you know, I was doing magazine covers for Boston Magazine for a very long time, and back covers for the Boston Globe Magazine. But there were advertising agencies that I was also working with doing uh, still life photography. You have to be good to do these things. You have to know your lighting and, and your angles of camera. And, 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 you know, I work for Polaroid corporations also, testing their uh, materials, their film. I'm in their collection as well, but it was a hard road. It wasn't uh, the computer that, uh, the internet, you just send yourself, you had to take your, literally your physical portfolio and knock on doors and wait for interviews hours and hours to show them this is what I do. And, and then you would get projects. Some were very extensive projects and, and you got paid well. And you would sell your rights, you know, to, to use these photographs. And I did that for a long time. That was early in my career. Since the camera, it saved me, I believe. And uh, it, it, it gave me the enlightenment that I needed to understand myself in the world that I live in. I think everyone who is a creative person has to be uh, involved in the process of unearthing self, bringing the real stuff up, you know, what, who and what you're really about. As an artist, you want to know what's really, really important inside of you. What, what is it that you really want to say? I like that part of my life now. I can just work on the things that are really meaningful to me.